very much. See you later. Now, let's talk more about that story that has dominated here much of today. The Prime Minister announcing those plans to curb the right of EU migrants to receive benefits as soon as they arrive in the UK. This, uh, of course, uh, looking ahead to uh, Romania and Bulgaria, potentially from the 1st of January. Let's discuss what the Prime Minister has been outlining with Professor Christian Dussman, who's with me, Director of the Centre for Research and Analysis on Migration at UCL, University College London. Hello, Hello. good afternoon. Uh, I mean, we discuss it actually not infrequently, but it's pertinent again in the light of what might happen on the 1st of January. What does research tell us about the impact and the contribution of migrants to the UK? Well, our, our own research, um, which has been uh, published some, some weeks ago, shows that uh, migrants from the European countries who came after 1999 have actually made a substantial net fiscal contribution uh, to this country. They paid in 34% more in terms of taxes uh, than what they took out in terms of benefits. They were 45% less likely uh, to claim benefits than native-born uh, people. Uh, so, based on the evidence, uh, there is no reason to be concerned that European migrants are basically free-riding on the welfare system. So, even though they obviously might be using the NHS, uh, sending their children to local schools, yeah. the point is that the, that the, the net uh, benefit is, yeah. is not... So, of course, migrants will, like everybody, uh, make uh, use of public services. But on the other hand, they also pay taxes, they participate in the labour market, they make contributions. And the key numbers here are the comparison between what they pay in to the system in terms of taxes and what they take out in terms of transfers and benefits. And, and that number is very clearly positive for European migrants. And you make the point that this is from entrance since 1999. Is there yes. any research to tell us? Is there any suggestion to know uh, whether people coming from Romania and Bulgaria, as it will be potentially next year, whether there's a greater preponderance of unskilled workers? I mean, do we know anything about this or are we just, are we politicians, just guessing? Mm. Well, it's clearly very difficult to predict the future. Uh, however, what we can do perhaps is to look at the evidence which we could collect after the 2004 accession of other Eastern European countries to uh, Europe. Uh, and at that time, Britain had opened uh, its labour market to these immigrants. Now, some, more, uh, some, 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 some recent research which we have conducted for those immigrants did suggest that, a, that they also made a positive net contribution to the fiscal system. So unless immigrants from Bulgaria and Romania are dramatically different, uh, there is, in my view, no uh, reason to suspect that economically they will be uh, not making a contribution or they will be free riding on the welfare system. And so when a politician makes a decision to uh, prevent them or, or wants, uh, makes it clear that he wants to prevent them from claiming certain benefits, uh, it is a purely political move. It's not based on maths. Well, I think uh, it, is, uh, it is perfectly legitimate to uh, try to um, restrict access of uh, individuals who come here, at least in the, first, uh, in the first month or in the first year, to the welfare system. That's what the government is doing. Uh, however, this move seems to suggest that the experience we had with European immigrants was a very bad one. And that is absolutely not the case. Very interesting. I'm sure we will be discussing this uh, again in the coming months. It's very good to have you here for now. Thank you very much, Dr. Christian Dussman. Thank you very much from UCL.